back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Maria and I post a lot of videos on college advice as well as financial decision advice and I throw in budgeting every once in a while. So if you're into that stuff, please subscribe and there'll be more videos coming your way on that. For today's video, I'm gonna be talking about poor financial decisions that I made my freshman year, or I guess incoming into my freshman year of college. I think this is important because I feel like I've talked to a lot of my friends and they've all made a lot of different mistakes on different purchases that they really didn't need. So today I'm gonna to be talking about the most terrible financial decisions I made as an incoming college freshman. The first bad financial decision I made, the first bad financial decision I made, I guess a lot of people could disagree with this, but I personally think my lamp was a horrible financial decision. And here's why. So when I came into my freshman year, all my friends were going to the library and stuff. So I just wasn't using it. Like, I feel like a lot of times your desk only gets used for like makeup application or something. So what ended up going on my desk was actually all my makeup, a mirror and like stuff to do my makeup with. So that was really the only use of my desk. So I felt that I didn't really need a lamp because I was always going to the library and if I did need the light for makeup application I would just go to the bathroom or something but I just feel this is a common thing for college students where they're really mostly spending their time going to the library. The next poor financial decision was a desk chair so this was a huge mistake and let me tell you why. So basically I went in to order my desk chair to the school. And I had made this order like a week before school came and I figured, oh, it'll be there by that week. So I'll have it and I'll just put it in my room. It'll look all cute. And I get there and guess what's there? A desk chair. And I get it if you want to look cute or whatever. But again, I feel like it's a waste of money because that, like I said, I was always in the library with my friends. I really didn't spend a lot of time in my room. I think that's another thing you can can avoid. Desk chairs are also not cheap, so if you can just get away with the one that the school provides you, then I would rather do that. Obviously, every school is different, so maybe not all schools have that option to have your desk chair that they provide, but for me, they already had one in there, so I felt like it was such a waste of money. The desk chair came to the student mailbox, and it was just such a hassle to send back because I already had one, so I just recommend if you're gonna buy a desk chair, wait until you get to your dorm to see if it's actually provided because that could save you a bucket load of money. So the next one is the unlimited meal plan. So I guess this is up for debate, but personally I didn't like my dining hall food at all. I really preferred other restaurants to that, so please do yourself a favor and test it out first and don't get the unlimited meal plan if your school provides it. What I got I think my freshman year was like 100 meals and that was plenty. You're going to the dining hall for every meal, probably not. I know that a lot of people's classes would conflict with this where people would go for the morning and then maybe go for dinner later and then just have a snack in between because they just didn't have the time. I feel like that would save a lot of tuition money not choose that expensive meal plan. So when I got the meal plan that was, I think it was like a couple under that, which is only a hundred meals, it saved me a ton of money. And I realized that I wasn't even using that anyway. So I actually shortened it. Um, you're gonna be doing a lot of different things with your friends while you're there. So I would take the first semester and play it by ear. Most schools will allow you to change your meal plan if you realize that you don't have enough meals so you can pay to get more meals added on to that. So worst case scenario, if you buy a little less, you can always add on more meals as you go. But I would just suggest to play it by ear and get a smaller meal plan at first. Another poor choice I made was a vacuum. This is a bad choice if you're living in a dorm because most places will provide this. So like, you just have to go to your RA and say, hey, I'd like to use a vacuum for my room and you sign it out and you do it that way. That also leaves a little bit more space in your room. So I just recommend using the one that the RA provides because it's almost always been available when I've had it. If not, they have a broom and a dustpan or anything you might need. So. I would just suggest to not get those type of things because most likely the RAs have some that you can borrow. Okay, and the next thing kind of goes along with the vacuum. 
it is cooking supplies, so definitely get paper plates, plastic forks, like all that stuff, but try and stay away from things that you have to wash because it, most likely they have these in the hallways as well. They have a whole stash where you can just pick one up, sign one out, and just get your cooking done in the common area and then you can just return it and it'll be less of a hassle for you obviously you have to wash them before you give them back but it's a lot better than having a bunch of dishes in your dorm which is probably going to be very small and you didn't even need them in the first place so I just recommend to borrow what they have there. Okay so this one may just be a me problem. I overloaded completely on decorations when I was a college freshman. I have so many things that there was nowhere for them to go and it just created more of a mess than a decorative area so I definitely recommend minimalizing on your decoration. I personally ended up painting up a few pictures and then maybe some lights but other than that I didn't really have a ton of stuff that I was decorating with, maybe a few wall posters but just don't overdo it because you're gonna have nowhere to put the stuff and then it's just gonna be like basically hanging out in storage or in your room. The next thing that I highly highly recommend, if you can, buy your books on Amazon. So I went through and I bought all my books at the bookstore. It was the worst decision I probably made in my life. So when you go to the bookstore, most likely, I know at my school it's different because school is a little bit cheaper than other schools, but I was still paying like $500 for books per semester and I went and I got my books the first day of orientation and stuff so I had everything prepared. I looked on Amazon later on and it was like half the price at Amazon. There's other bookstores as well that you can look for that sort of stuff online so I would highly recommend just checking out what books you have before you result to the bookstore because I know a lot of times they'll be available online and you'll be able to see what books your class requires. It's just another way to really save your money. Next two things kind of combine together and that is dress clothes and dress shoes. So let's talk about that. I'm just saying, personally, this was a huge mistake for me. And the reason is, if you're going to an 8 a.m. and you wake up at 7.30, and you're about to be late, are you really gonna put on like a fashion statement worth of clothing? So like, I get it, some people are fashionistas. That is not me and that is not some people. I know people are thinking exactly what I thought, which was, oh, like I'm going to a new college, I'm gonna invest in all these different clothes and shoes and I'm gonna look fashionable every day. I promise, if you're not normally like interested in fashion, that's not gonna happen to you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't wanna be mean, but like, honestly, I spent probably like 300 to $400 on like nice clothes and nice shoes, and the only thing I should have been spending that money on is nice sweatpants and nice sweatshirts, cause especially if you are in the cold, I promise you that's all you're gonna wear. Maybe you'll style it up with the jeans every once in a while, but really it's like when you walk into a classroom, it's a bunch of kids with their sweatpants and their sweatshirts on, and then occasionally you'll have somebody with jeans and like a nice shirt on, but definitely don't go all out that you're probably not gonna wear half the things you bring. Most people just like to keep it casual. What I've seen a lot, some people like dressing up, but that's just their personality, and that's great, but I just personally think that when you're going for an 8 a.m. you're not really gonna want to like dress all up. You're just gonna want to put on a sweatshirt and shorts, a tracksuit, sweatpants and a sweatshirt. So you're not really gonna want to put a lot of effort. So just keep that in mind when shopping for college. I literally can't believe I did this, but <laughs> I bought like a full printer and it was really ridiculous guys like I went to Walmart and I bought a printer and all my friends were like Maria you don't need a printer and I was like yes I do what if I don't go to the library and I want to be in my dorm by myself I sold that printer that printer never got used I went on the little like Facebook app you know like the buying app and I sold that thing so fast for like half the price so like definitely don't be like me and buy a printer like I said you're gonna be at the library a lot anyway so you don't need that all right and now we're down to my absolute dumbest purchase so let me give you a backstory on this basically I had a perfectly working Mac it was a few years old but it was my baby it worked perfect it was amazing but you know what Maria did? Maria was like, you know what? 
Maria was like, you know what? No. New year, new school, new me. So I spent $1,500 on a new Mac. So I guess this one's more up for debate because if you have a crappy computer, like you're gonna wanna get a new one for college. But if you have a nice computer, please don't waste money on another. This may be just a me thing. It may just be a me thing. If you're one of those people where you're like, oh, new school, so I'm gonna get new everything. Don't. Don't make the same mistake I did because $1,500 would have came so in handy for other things in college. Keep that in mind when making extravagant purchases like I did. That completes the video for today. I hope that you learned something from this video about how not to be bad with purchasing and spending. I and spending. I hope you guys learned something from my mistakes and I don't want you guys to make the same ones so I thought that I'd film this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. If you like these type of videos, there will be more, so please subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!